My name is Michael Abdella. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director for Strategic Communications here at St. Olaf. I'm joined by Head Women's Soccer Coach Whitney Frary to talk Oli Women's Soccer. Whitney, thanks for taking some time to do this. Yeah, of course. Happy to be here. So it's been been easy this fall to focus on the things we haven't been able to do, not playing games and, and all that. But instead, let's try to focus on what we have been able to do and accomplish and just fill us in on what your team has been doing over the last couple months. Yeah, you know, I think that's a, a great way to put it. We've been so fortunate to be able to practice. Um, St. Olaf has done such a great job to be able to let us to, to accomplish what we have been uh, able to do. We started in pods. Uh, we were able to get to know each other as players. Uh, each pod was able to get to know upperclassmen, first years, uh, and everything like that, and I think that was great. Uh, and then we got the the ability to break out of those and go into in, into full team practices, and I think that was – even even more so of a, of a fortunate circumstance for us. So I think that uh, being able to scrimmage, being able to have full team practices and, and have the fun and, and passion come back into soccer, which we lost uh, from last spring, I think was fantastic for this entire season. Then obviously things have, have still been different with practices and safety protocols and all that. Um, what's What have been the differences that you've noticed from how you've had to go about practice and just connecting with with your student athletes and as a team yeah uh, a lot of pre-planning a lot of making sure that we're working with uh making sure everybody is getting that one-on-one -on -one attention i think that this fall has really lent itself to that uh being able to to get to know players a little bit more uh even though you know we're masked we're six feet we're making sure that we're making sure everyone feels safe at practice but uh, in those pods, you know, I, I really think our, our first years and our upperclassmen really tried to get to know each other a little bit better. And then uh, once we broke out, we were able to kind of focus on a few key aspects of, of what St. Olaf women's soccer really wanted to focus on, our shoring up our defense and, and just working on getting back together, playing together, how each other played, uh, and, and kind of getting back in the rhythm of things. Then it's been difficult semester around campus just in general with everything going on. But um, like you talked about before, you've been fortunate to be able to, to do a lot of things. How would you say the team's attitude has been with everything and adapting to new circumstances? Yeah, you know, I have been so proud of the St. Olaf women's soccer team. We have been resilient every single day. Our players have come out to practice, had a high work ethic, had that competitive edge that we're known for. And I think that even though everything that's going on, uh, our players are passionate about everything, about voting, about uh, everything going on in the world. And I think that they bring that to the soccer field and, and they get those two hours to be able to, to play, play soccer, play with their friends, uh, play with our family, and I think really get to, to push through. So the positive attitude is, has helped myself. We've helped each other and, and kind of pushed forward. I'm really excited to see what the future holds. All right, thanks, uh, Whitney, for taking a few minutes here to, to update us on how women's soccer has been going, and uh, appreciate the time. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much.